I have played many games over the years. I have played many games that I and many other people hold in extremely high regards. From Halo to The Witcher to Celeste or Firewatch or Rocket League. Someone might expect my favorite one to be an epic adventure with intricate characters, amazing twists and mind-blowing visuals or atmosphere. My favorite game is, however, I think, none of these. My favorite is a little multiplayer indie shooter called Duck Game. It might be confusing at first why I hold it in such a high regard. I hope to explain to you this divine design of the duck. Duck Game was made by a single developer, Landon Podbielski, and released in 2014 for the Ouya. Fun fact, oh yeah, is exactly what you say when someone reminds you of the existence of the Ouya. After the Ouya died, Duck Game was released on other platforms and I'm glad it was because it's an achievement. Duck Game is an intense experience. I advise you not to play it right before you go to bed because it activates your brain in a weird way. This has many reasons and there are many details I want to talk about so keeping this coherent will probably be difficult. I'll do my best though. Starting with... The basic inputs you need when playing Duck Game could all fit on a SNES controller. There are more inputs, but the necessary ones are left, right, jump, pick up and shoot. When you can do that, you can fight and maneuver through the map. The game makes sure you know all these things before entering a game and most people don't even notice it. The lobby requires players to jump up a small ledge, pick up the shotgun, shoot out the window and move through it. So after going through the lobby, any player will know everything they need to to win games and enjoy the experience. Partially because of this simplicity, I have been able to play and enjoy this game with my gamer friends, but also my less experienced friends and even my 10 year old stepbrother. It might seem strange since I just stopped talking about how simple the game is to immediately start talking about how complex it is, but it is. I mentioned earlier how I stopped playing this game before sleeping because my mind just becomes chaos. That is partially because of the fact that there is practically no animation timings for actions. If you pick up a weapon in Halo, for instance, you'll watch an animation of your character equipping the weapon, after which you'll be able to shoot. In that game there's none of that. If you press a button to pick up a weapon, you'll be able to shoot it in the next frame. Because you never have to wait on animations, the only limit to how fast you can play is you. If your fingers are able, you can pick up, shoot and drop three different weapons in one second. This is the main thing that makes it so intense to play. You're always playing at your absolute limit because you always can. Because of this and the amazing gameplay sandbox, so many things can happen at any moment. And they often do, resulting in hilarity. On top of that, there is incredible depth to nearly every mechanic in the game, much of which you just naturally discover by playing. There are so many techniques that can be used to your advantage, like Crouching and shooting, shooting up by gliding, shooting up by standing against the wall, using a box to protect yourself, crouch bouncing on a sword, chainsaw gliding, flying with the knockback of your shots, jumping higher with the use of a ragdoll, chainsaw climbing, shooting down with the suicide gun, shooting diagonally when turning, and I'm just scratching the surface here. 
like right here. This is a 15 minute long video explaining advanced techniques just using the sword. There are about 60 usable items in the game right now. Not all of them as complex as the sword, but I hope it gives some idea of the mastery that is possible in this game. Wie is het hartje? Ik. In most competitive multiplayer games, balancing is a huge issue because if one weapon or character is better than others, there is no reason to use them and the variety of the gameplay suffers. In my last video, I talked about how the SMGs in Titanfall 2 are way too dominant, reducing the variety of gameplay. In Duck Game, balancing all weapons is just thrown out of the window. There is no way that the dueling pistol is in any way better than the regular pistol. There just isn't. Therefore, it is impossible to predict who will be the winner of any single round of Duck Game. If you would just play one round to determine who is the winner of a match, it would pretty much always be unfair. But Duck Game makes use of a principle that I didn't anticipate any game would use for balancing. The law of large numbers. If you throw a coin once, it might fall on heads, after which one could conclude that that coin will fall on heads 100% of the time. Or you might throw it a thousand more times and conclude that it's actually around 50-50. Each round of duck game is a throw of a coin, and after 20 to 30 times you'll generally know who's better. Because of this, it doesn't matter how overpowered the AK or the chainsaw are, because there will always be next round to prove that you are in fact better. And since the most drawn out rounds only take about a minute, playing enough games takes like 10 minutes or something. Oh, this imbalance and the fact that everything is a one hit creates an interesting environment. One where a player will often have the upper hand over another, which allows for interesting occurrences. Maybe you and your box together survive against all the dangers your friends are able to throw your way, and you are just able to bonk them on the heads with your box buddy. The fact that in a duel between a box and a pistol, the pistol will win 90% of the time does mean that the moment the box does win is amazing. Most popular modern multiplayer games have a way to make sure that newer players don't feel too crappy at the game. Making sure that while you might not win the game, you'll feel at least useful to your team and get some of that sweet, sweet dopamine. Call of Duty has low time to kill and noob tubes, Overwatch has low skill heroes and Battle Royale games have a lot, which I might get into in a later video. Duck Game has many of these little reasons a lesser skilled player can win a round. Everything is one hit, so a lucky shot will win you a game. People will sometimes accidentally kill themselves, etc. But because you play this many rounds, eventually the better player will usually win. <laughs> All these things, the simplicity, complexity and great balance already make for a 10 out of 10 recommendation for me. But there is one last thing I want to talk about. For some reason this solo developer game has a level editor and a quite intuitive one as well. In about mm, 5 hours I made 4 levels, only one of which sucks ass. The other ones are just put into our list of levels, which just works. As a result of this intuitive level editor, the workshop is full of extremely creative levels and you can just easily turn on some community picked internet levels that will just naturally be put in your map rotation. It's easy, effective and overall just excellent. On top of that, Duck Game has great mod support. You can create your own hats as pixel art and just import them into the game. There are more than 2000 mods on the Steam Workshop right now. Oh, good grief. Ho! Ho! Oh, 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 o
all of these things add up to be one of the greatest video game experiences I have ever had. It is so goddamn good that after all of this, I still don't feel like I've properly communicated to you how amazing it is. So let me try one last time. Duck Game is a miracle. I have played hundreds of video games in my life. Games that impressed me, games that I dropped quickly because they didn't. But I can confidently say that none of them have come close to so consistently grabbing a hold of all of my attention. So many hours were spent just having a good time with a surprisingly varied amount of people who also loved it. And all of it was made by one guy. Duck Game is perfect. And I want to have its babies.